Here's your artsy platform as you walk in the door. Pretty cool. Guys drawing right here. And people are talking about some of the arts and crafts. This is a higher end thing. Uh, that is actually a spelling bee going on over there, which I find very unique. I've never seen it out of market. How about a big open bar right here in the middle of everything? That's pretty cool. Then you have shirts and more little artsy stuff. Um, how about places to eat? Want to sit down and eat? There you go. The coupon box. I'm not exactly sure what kind of coupons they offer, but there it is. Oh, I missed the paintings back there with the fish on them. And then... They're currently giving away or building up some of those coupons and you can see that there is some food here but we're actually going to go back to the market that we recorded yesterday to get food just because this one is a little more high class and it's probably a little bit more expensive I would say. And check this out. They have an amphitheater, which is where the spelling bee is being held. And these would currently be the movie's plan, I guess. And there's the ticket box for it. Pretty cool. So, Cicada Market also has a couple. I'm pretty sure that's not a human being, but it could be. I don't know. Oh, he's got some kind of talent. He's got the tip box out here for sure. More food, more food. And we will walk back into the market here. See if we can find something unique and different. Something cool. Maybe this. I like glass stuff. Oh, this is all uh, cultural stuff. Very nice. Very nice cultural stuff. Um, these people have hand braided. These people have handmade bracelets, which are very beautiful. They're brass and unique in their own way. Ah, oh, look. Check that out. And bend back and forth. That's really nice. Really neat. I might have to come back and get one of those. I'm not sure. But. Oh, I found a manicure, pedicure, foot massage across the street. Sorry, I had to tell you. And here's the little doll shop. So many arts and crafts around here. I'm very intrigued. And all the food is in the middle, which is a little bit different from what we saw yesterday. All right. So for all you toy geeks, there you go. Um, no offense, by the way, to the toy geeks. Book readers, book readers, book readers. There you go. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, they spray, I think they make, they spray their shirts. Looks like it anyway. Hmm. What do we have here? Dog in bottle. Oh, they put the dogs in these little bottles. How cool is that? So he makes all this stuff and then puts them in the bottle. Like a ship in a bottle. Except it's a dog. <laughs> That's cool. Very cool. More arts and crafts, bedroomy stuff. Don't ask me exactly what this is. It looks like a horse toy store. So we're gonna leave it to that. There's a bar down in this corner. Actually, that also that bar extends as well uh, to right here. So interesting. And down here, 
Looks like they're gonna have some live music later on because that is a stage for a band with lots of seating. Very interesting, very, very, very interesting. I do have to say, I'm interested. And I don't know what kind of watches those are, but they are unique. Everything's unique. Even the phone cases are unique. Phone cases are so unique, I might have to buy one. So after walking around and looking and observing that kind of thing, what I've determined is this is like a really nice craft fair. That's like what this really is because there's just so many unique different types of things here and I like it. Oh, do I see cameras? Hang on guys, I see cameras. I see vintage cameras. How about an EOS 630? Yeah, buddy. Canon A1? Are you serious right now? Man, that's amazing. Or do I even need to say anymore? I didn't think so. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Dried pineapple, 65 baht. See, prices are a little bit more expensive over here than they were. There is a, my name is Patai, Pataiva. Is that right? Patabia? Patabia. Patabia. It's dried pineapple. They have pineapple juice. And then you get back into the crafty stuff on this side. And then you get more crafty stuff on this side. Plates. And bracelets. And charms. Particularly the elephant. Oh. There's me a little charm I could probably pick up. But I'm not going to. I love the stuff with the letters on it. It's really nice. If you took that brass and polished it up really good, it would be amazing. I need a new pair of dress shoes for work, so here's the spot, no doubt. Dresses for the ladies. Oh, we got backpacks over there. And check out some of these old signs, guys. Look at this. That's so cool. I'd like to have the coffee five cent sign. That'd be cool. Sunglasses, watches, all kinds of different stuff over here. I like it. I like it. I like it. More crafts. This is. This is just a big craft festival. It really is. She makes bags and, and bears. Interesting, very, very interesting. Here's some more of my Cubana hats that I would like to try out at some point in time, but I'll probably never get a chance to. So that's kind of an overall view, guys. And with that being said, I'm gonna cut it right here because music is starting to come on and I do not want to get demonetized. So no matter what you do today, be sure you do more life.